Praise the Lord. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that surpasses all understanding always be with you in Jesus' name. You are most welcome to this teaching. We are going to have a look at sanctification in these last days. In the previous teaching, we examine consecration in these last days. And I said at the end of the teaching that consecration and sanctification lead to holiness. You cannot be holy if you do not consecrate and sanctify yourself. Consecration and sanctification are prerequisite to holiness. We saw consecration in the previous teaching. Now we are going to have a look at sanctification in these last days. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we give you all the honor, we give you all the glory. Let your children understand the importance of sanctification. Let them understand that sanctification is indispensable in Jesus' name. Lord, I cover this presentation with the blood of Lord Jesus in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Sanctification is indispensable. In these last days, you cannot be victorious. You cannot overcome the kingdom of darkness if you are not sanctified. The question now is, what is sanctification? Sanctification has to do with at least five things. It means to consecrate. Secondly, it means to set a path. Thirdly, it means to cleanse. Fourthly, it means to purify. And fifthly, it means to make holy. If we open our Bibles to 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, we see that sanctification is the will of God for you. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3. Let's go there. Sanctification is the will of God for you. I read, For this is the will of God, even your sanctification. Many believers often ask that they don't know the will of God no, for their life. Many Christians often say that they don't know the will of God for their lives. But the Bible is crystal clear. The will of God for you is to be sanctified. The will of God for you is to set yourself apart unto Him. The will of God for you is to consecrate yourself wholly unto Him. The will of God for you is to be cleansed wholly. The will of God for you is for your whole being to be purified. The will of God for you is for you to live a holy life. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, the Bible states that your whole spirit, soul, and body should be sanctified. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. I read. I read the 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. I read. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So keep in mind that sanctification is the sanctification of your whole spirit, 
your whole soul and your whole body as clearly taught in 1 Thessalonians 5.23. What does it mean? It means that your whole spirit, soul and body are to be sanctified. You have to set yourself apart unto the Lord. You have to consecrate your whole spirit, soul, and body unto the Lord. And the Lord will cleanse it and, and as such sanctify it. So it is important for you to understand that sanctification is the sanctification of your whole spirit, your whole soul, and your whole body. May your whole spirit, your whole soul, your whole body be sanctified in Jesus' name. Amen. Sanctification is a two-step approach. Sanctification is a two-step is, is a two-step approach. It is important for you to understand that. In this respect, let's look at Deuteronomy 20. Deuteronomy chapter 20. We are saying that sanctification is a two-step approach. You sanctify yourself and the Lord sanctifies you. Let's have a look at Deuteronomy chapter... I mean, not Deuteronomy... Leviticus, I beg your pardon. Leviticus chapter 20, verses 7 to 8. Let's look at Leviticus chapter 20, verses 7 to 8. Leviticus, the book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7 and verse 8. Are you there? Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7 and verse 8. I read Sanctify yourself, therefore, and be he holy, for I am the Lord your God. It is very important. Here you are commanded to sanctify yourself and be holy. So as we said at the beginning of this teaching, sanctification comes before holiness. We have consecration, sanctification, and holiness. So Holiness is a three-step approach. We have consecration, sanctification, and holiness. So in Leviticus 20 verse 7, you are commanded to sanctify yourself and be holy. This command is not from man. It's from the Lord himself. Then in Leviticus 20 verse 8, it says, And he shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctifies you. Keep in mind, brethren, that in Leviticus 20 verse 7, you are commanded to sanctify yourself. And in Leviticus 20 verse 8, the Lord sanctifies you. What does it mean? It means that sanctification is a two-step approach. You sanctify yourself and the Lord sanctifies you. And keep in mind that in 1 Thessalonians 5 23, sanctification is the sanctification of your whole self, is the sanctification of your whole spirit, the sanctification of your whole soul, and the sanctification of your whole body. And in Leviticus 20, verses 7 to 8, we are also. So that sanctification is a two-step approach. You sanctify yourself and the Lord sanctifies you. Recall that sanctification has at least five meanings. It means to consecrate yourself unto the Lord. Secondly, it means to set yourself apart unto the Lord. Thirdly, it means to cleanse. Fourthly, it means to purify. And fifthly, it means to make holy. So, from this definition, we can see that 
you have a role to play in your sanctification and the Lord also have a role to play. The first two definitions are to consecrate yourself unto the Lord, to set yourself apart unto the Lord. So this is what you do. You sanctify yourself. How do you sanctify yourself? You consecrate yourself unto the Lord. You consecrate yourself wholly unto the Lord. You set yourself apart wholly unto the Lord. And what does the Lord do? The Lord sanctifies you. How does he sanctify you? He cleanses you according to the third definition. He purifies you according to the fourth definition. And he makes you holy according to the fifth definition. So you consecrate your, it means you sanctify yourself. How do you sanctify yourself? You set yourself apart unto the Lord. You consecrate yourself unto the Lord. So in Leviticus 20, verse 7, you are commanded to sanctify yourself. How do you sanctify yourself? You consecrate yourself wholly unto the Lord. You set yourself apart unto the Lord. And in Leviticus 20, verse 8, the Lord sanctifies you. How does he do so? How does he go about it? How does he sanctify you? The Lord cleanses you. The precious blood of Lord Jesus cleanses you from all fitness, cleanses your whole spirit, your whole soul, and your whole body from all fitness of the spirit, all fitness of the soul, and all fitness of the body. And the Lord purifies you. The Lord purifies you. He purifies your whole spirit, your whole soul, and your whole body. Thereby making you holy. So the Lord makes you holy. He makes you holy. He makes your whole spirit holy. He makes your whole soul holy. He makes your whole body holy. How does he do so? He does so by cleansing. By cleansing. He does so by cleansing. By purifying your whole spirit, soul, and body. So in the nurture, you sanctify yourself by setting yourself apart unto the Lord, by consecrating yourself unto the Lord, and then the Lord sanctifies you by cleansing, cleansing you with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus, by cleansing your whole spirit, soul, and body with the blood of the Lord Jesus, or by purifying your whole spirit, soul, and body with the blood of the Lord Jesus, or by making you holy. Hallelujah. So keep that in mind. You are called to sanctify yourself. You are called to set yourself apart unto the Lord. You are called to consecrate your whole spirit, soul, and body unto the Lord. When you do so, the Lord will cleanse your whole spirit. The Lord will cleanse your whole soul and the Lord will cleanse your whole body. The Lord cannot cleanse your whole spirit, soul, and body if you do not make it available unto the Lord. If you do not bring it unto the Lord. If you do not Ask the Lord to do so. So when you consecrate your whole spirit, soul, and body unto the Lord, the Lord will cleanse your whole spirit, soul, and body. And it will become pure. And as such, you will become holy. May it be so to you in Jesus' name. In these last days, you cannot overcome the enemy if you are not consecrated. You cannot under, uh, overcome the enemy. You cannot be victorious over the kingdom of darkness if you are not consecrated. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be, be consecrated and be sanctified in Jesus' name. In order for you to overcome Satan and his evil spirit in these last days, you must be consecrated and sanctified. You cannot overcome Satan and his evil spirit. You, are, you cannot overcome the kingdom of darkness if you are not sanctified. That is why sanctification is very important. May you be sanctified in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because sanctification is indispensable in every life of the believer as clearly taught in your word. Lord, help us to sanctify ourselves so that you will sanctify us and become holy, victorious, and overcome us in these last days, 
In Jesus' name, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. May your name forever be exalted and be praised. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Please share this video on all your various social media platforms and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so, so that together we will prepare ourselves for heaven in these last days, in these end times, in these difficult times, in these perilous, uh, perilous times. In Jesus' name, bye-bye. Remain blessed until we see you again. In Jesus' name, amen.